Boarding. As I have mentioned, there is a boarding facility within our business. It is more attractive than similar establishments because we have doctors and grooming services on the premises. Often animals who stay with us need to be administered certain medications and or the pet owner feels safe about health and emergency situation during their absence. There is always a chart chance that the unexpected happening and we can uh, groom pets before they go home. We get reciprocal benefits of such cooperation. When everything goes well, which happens in most cases, there is nothing to tell you. Just a routine work, a cleaning, a feeding, uh, and uh, etc. But it's, it's worth of telling is when something out of ordinary occurs. One not so ordinary case was when the family left us with two chihuahuas for the couple of days while on vacation and got back for chihuahuas. Nobody knew the gender of the pets and, and nobody including us noted the huge belly. And the cubs were so big that it was hard to believe that they are fresh in the world. This is what the right clothes can do for your image. The furry mother looked normal just a few days before delivery and the fury kids looked bigger than they actually were. Another unofficial but not so rare occurrence is when people bring their pets and insist they are friendly, but in a few minutes after the owner departure from the office the pet becomes furious. Yes, this can be predicted with large guardian dog breeds, but sometimes it happens with dogs and cats of various sizes and shapes. We have an Australian terrier boy who look cute as Yorkie, but in his heart, he is a Rottweiler. His name is Killer, by the way. Also among the un un ordinary cases, there are those situations in which pets stay, stray, stay in our hotel, become sick. No matter how much we explain to the owner that the kidney stones expected uh, experienced by the cat did not materialize within a few days so with us, the owner will always try to pinpoint our feeding or something else as the cause of, of the stones. A particularly complicated situation to deal with is the, if the animal dies while boarding with us. We had a client who lost her home during Hurricane Sandy. She brought us her pitbull katana and declared that she is in the process of renting an apartment and that, that as soon as she found one, she would take her dog. We sympathized with the victim's circumstances and took the dog with open-ended checkout date. I did not know how long she searched for apartment, but three years later, Katana still stayed with us. At the end of every month, we had a multi-hour long fight with the owner in order to get the past due payments of her and to convince her to take back the dog. We rarely won those disputes. Her balance keeps growing and our hope of getting rid of the dog becomes uh, fainter and fainter. One morning we found Katana dead. She even, she even more depressed in her last days than she has been in the beginning of her imprisonment. But this made sense. She died of the heart attack. It happens. Katana owner paid her for her cremation, but the rest of the balance is still in, our char in her chart.